Hi, in this video we're going to find the mode of, the, of a continuous probability function f of x where f of x is 2 brackets minus 4 plus 5x minus x squared all over 9 and it's valid between 1 and 4 only. Okay, what is the um, mode? Well, the mode we know to be the most common. So the mode is the most common, so therefore to find the mode, what we need to do is find the maximum of this particular curve. Y is equal to f of x, the curve of this, this, this probability density function. So to do that, we would uh, have to actually differentiate this function. So to differentiate, f dash of x would be 2. Differentiate minus 4, you get 0. You differentiate 5x, you get 5. And then you differentiate minus x squared, you get minus 2x. And that will still be over 9. 2 over 9 is just like a constant. For maximum, you have to put f dash of x is equal to 0. And then you can do 5 minus 2x is equal to 0. Gives that 5 is equal to 2x. And therefore x is equal to 5 over 2. Checking for a maximum using the second derivative test then f double dash of x is equal to 2 ninths, the differential of 5 is nothing, the differential of minus 2x is minus 2, which is always going to be negative for all real x. Therefore, x is equal to 5 over 2 is a maximum point, and therefore the mode will be x is equal to 2.5. Now we can look at this uh, uh, using some GeoGebra app. So I made this GeoGebra app with the, the link I will put in the notes of the video. So here we have the function defined from between 1 and 4 only. Okay, we can see that the area is, is 1. You can move the sliders if you want in order to get different probabilities. So that's a probability of being between 2 and 4 in this distribution, so you can use that if you want to that way. And the mode is obviously going to be the coordinates of this point here, okay, which happens at x is equal to 2.5, so the mode will be 2.5. Now you could, because this was a quadratic, use completing the square to find the uh, maximum point, or use the fact that minus b over 2a gives the vertex of a quadratic as well. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the mode of a continuous random variable. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.